Hey guys, I just uh, come back for picking up this uh, rod, this old rod. And this rod comes from West End Tackle. I don't know how old it really is, but it looks like an old bait. Now I picked it up because I like the action of it. I mean, it's a, it's a great, great rod for uh, beach fishing, but it needs, needs all the runners redone on them because I don't know who did them but they've got all this tape on it. And they're just the wrong size runners, you know, some are different style of runners and all sorts of things, you know. This one's too big to go there, piece of rubber stuff on it. So I like the blank and I'm gonna keep the uh, West End Tackle logo on it. And um, I'm gonna refurbish the whole rod. I might even put a sand spike on the end of it as well. So this is a before and after sort of video, quick video, to show you um, that these old rods, I mean, can still catch fish. And they're fantastic rods. I don't think our new rods have this action to them. You know, like, there's something about the old blanks. You know, they're, they're fantastic rods. So anyway, this is uh, a before video and I'll uh, finish it off and I'll make a, another short video showing you the end result. So guys, this is the end result. I'm very pleased with this rod. It's turned out better than what I've hoped for. Now, I put a sand spike because the majority of my fishing is going to be off the beach. That's where I'll be uh, using this rod, mainly off the beach. But it's a surf and spin rod. And um, the logo, the logo is beautiful. I, um, it's all been re-epoxied. The logo of new runners on it and yeah I'll give you a close look at that in a minute but I'll tell you something about the rod I did a bit of research on the actual blank and where the rod was made and obviously it was made at West End Sport and Tackle which no longer exists now they got some information from uh, the Facebook groups <clears throat> one was uh, a blackfish fishing group and the other one was more of a drummer fishing group. And they were both very helpful. I'll put the description below this video uh, if you want to check those uh, face groups out. And I found a lot of information of the actual rod, what it was intended for, where it was built. I also found a, a place on the internet where it showed a picture of the quaint little shop in um, in Newcastle and uh, that was nice a light blue shop with the way it used to be in the 80s anyway uh, it was nice to see the shop so I got a lot of information from Facebook as well so uh, if you want to check it out go ahead and do so I was told there was a few numbers on the bottom of the blankie where the rubber cap is, you take that off and there's a few numbers. Well, those numbers signify what the blank is made for. And it's a surf and spin rod. It's a four wrap, 138 inches long and L for light. Now I'll give you a close up look of what I actually did to this rod. I built it, I made it all myself. And like I said, I'm very happy with it. And this will be passed on to someone way after I'm gone. So to the donor of West End Sport and Tackle, if you're watching, 
thank you for this rod. I hope I did it justice and I'm very happy with it. And it'll be in my family for years to come. So guys, if you watched this video and you liked it, please give me the thumbs up. Think about subscribing and I'll see you in my next video.